this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it's a general reading for my Earth Sign Collective, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for September of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there, and I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Okay. All right. So as a split today, we have the Fool card and the Star card. Okay. All right, so Divine Holy Spirit, what general messages do you have for my Earth Sign Collective, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for September of 2023? Messages for the Earth Sign Collective. Okay. As always, guys, take any <laughs> tarot reading with a grain of salt. Take only the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay, but if it does apply to you in your particular situation, consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And clicking that notification bell. We would love to have you as a member of the Soul Tribe. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Split the deck there. All right. We have the King of Cups. The Two of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, okay, that's Capricorn energy, Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, overall energy, the Seven of Cups. Some of y'all got a lot of options, yeah, but you you scared because you feel like you can't move any further from where you are or where you have been, I should say. Um, for some of y'all, y'all just trying to stay where you at uh, financially or you feel comfortable in your comfort zone for a pentacles. But I feel like spirit is telling you that you can open up more uh, to life. Um, put yourself out there. You never know what uh, type of fish you might catch. Um, for some of y'all, this is about your finances. It's like you're trying to balance out things in your life. You know that you want to move forward and be successful with the six of ones. But you like, for some of y'all, it's like you're steady doubting yourself or you really don't trust yourself when I see the seven of cups here. Uh, Spirit is telling you to trust yourself and your intuition because it hasn't failed you thus far. And if you didn't listen to your intuition for some of y'all, that was your own fault. I'm going to be honest. But once you, during the times that you have listened to yourself, whether it be following up on something with a job or business or a relationship, Things have worked out really good for you. And I feel like it's time for you to leave behind that back and forth energy of not being sure within yourself, okay? I feel like once you leave that behind for good and stop feeling like you can't do anything or uh, put anything together for yourself, especially financially, you're going to be fine. For a lot of y'all, this is depression and anxiety. You're leaving that behind and you're moving forward. You're becoming more emotionally balanced. It's like you're completing a cycle that for some of y'all, you didn't even realize you were completing, if I'm going to be honest, and you're moving forward. You're Like I said, things are balancing out for you because you're putting one foot in front of the other. You're not giving up on yourself. You're not uh, saying, well, this didn't work out for me, so let me quit. Let me stop, okay? Earth Sign Collective. I feel like things are going to be aligning for you, okay? You know how they say money doesn't grow on trees, but I feel like for y'all, as you can see, there are pentacles in this tree with this owl. So I feel like things, you're going to have new opportunities for money, for growth, for business pursuit, even new job opportunities, with that set, especially with that seven of cups right there at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like y'all going to feel so overwhelmed that you don't even know what to pick. And... And in doing that, I feel like y'all have to be very, very cautious because we have the devil here. We, this is for Earth Sign Collectors, but I feel like a Capricorn is in, um, in specific has a message that you don't want to get entangled with the same people or the same type of relationship, business endeavor, or creative endeavor that left you feeling tied to it or like you couldn't get out of a particular situation, okay? That's for a Capricorn somewhere. I feel like you don't want to get involved with someone or something or someplace that makes you feel like you're you're obligated to stick out stick it out with one particular thing that isn't fulfilling you. And I feel like that's what a lot of y'all's fear is with this nine of swords. This is what keeps a lot of the earth sign 
collective up at night, whether it be like getting stuck at a job to where it wasn't what you rec were recruited to do or it isn't exactly what you thought it would be. Um, let me give you an example. For some of y'all, y'all might feel like y'all don't want to go to a job to where because of your previous experience in previous workplaces that they tell you, oh, we're a family, we're close, we're this and that, we get our work done. But then when you get on a job, you find out that these people backstabbing, conniving, and manipulating, and they steal each other's ideas, they don't work together, they gossip. You gonna have a little bit of that on every job, but I feel like that's your guys' fear. And you don't, or you've been in that particular situation before, Earthside Collectives, and you, collective and you really don't want to experience that like I tell you guys all the time take the fear out of it and 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 ask for those of you who pray do that or or meditate on it and talk to spirit about it to relieve your anxiety for some of y'all this is what you're going through now and you feel like you just can't see your way out of it and spirit is telling you you're going to get out of it because spirit is going to get send you some options okay going to take you from a place of feeling like you're stuck eight of swords to like you have options or too many options for some of y'all y'all might be feeling that maybe where the anxiety is coming in too you might be feeling like you can't get out of a job you can't get out of a certain relationship that didn't work out for you but for the main ones of you is like something dealing with balancing out your money or getting stability with your money you're going to get it but it's like for some of y'all it's going to come in how you didn't expect it or a lot at one time and you have to really use your discernment to know which deals or which options, I don't know where that deal came from, is best for you and your particular situation, whether you be on a job, which job, trying to leave one job to go to another, which job is right for you. Trying to leave one business thing or one creative endeavor, trying to figure out which one is best for you. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? This is a general reading, but I feel like once you figure things out and get over that anxiety and the stuff from the past, you're going to be moving forward really quickly, quicker than what you imagine. Okay. Things are going to be working out very quickly for you. Okay. Dang. All right. Let's see here. Let's get a Oracle card for the Earth Sign Collective for their general reading for September of 2023. Let's see here. For some of y'all, y'all have felt stagnant for so long. Like I said, the eight of swords to where you, once things start picking up for you, you can be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Okay. Dreams. Your dreams might be, oh wow. I'm, I'm not going to even go there. Okay. Your dreams might show you, okay, seven of cups. Okay. Which thing is for you or things might be heightening in your dream, in the dream realm to show you that you're on the right path and that your, for some of y'all, your um, gifts are awakening. So let's see. Number nine. That's completion as well. Okay. Fulfillment as well. Let's see here. Dreams. There's a fine line between a conscious state and the dreaming state. Dr during your dreaming state, your dreams can represent premonitions as well as a simple a simple energy outlets for your underlying thoughts and concerns. Now it's the time to pay careful attention to your dreams. Okay. Your dreams can represent okay, premonitions as well as simple energy outlets for your underlying thoughts and concerns. Now, I read it already. Let me read it again. There is a fine line between a conscious state and a dreaming state. During your dreaming state, your dreams can represent premonitions as well as simple energy outlets for your underlying thoughts and concerns. Now is the time to pay careful attention to your dreams. Keeping a dream journal, whether verbal or written, will help you to recall your dreams. It will also provide a frame of reference that can help you decipher the messages and things that your guides and higher self want to share with you. Your dreams may be trying to tell you something important. Seven of Cups, come on. Um, about how you really feel about things that go on your, in your life while you're awake. These may be feelings that you do not fully understand or ones that you may be trying to ignore. So for a lot of y'all, your dreams might be telling you, hey, you need to move from a particular job 
a particular relationship from somebody else or from a particular business endeavor or is trying to show you spirit and your the dream world is trying to show you how to navigate things so that you can live a more abundant life but for some of y'all that it whatever it is you're dreaming about is coming in distorted and spirit is telling you to tap in by journaling for some of y'all praying and meditating on it so that you can get a clearer view of what options are available to you or what spirit your guys your angels are trying to say to you once you do that you'll be tapped in and you you can move forward in your life you can move down the path that is really for you but i feel like for some of y'all y'all keep having strange or weird dreams and it's coming in distorted and spirit is telling you to keep a dream drone for some of y'all meditate for some of y'all pray on this particular dream or dreams okay because some of y for some of y'all is reoccurring with this two of pentacles with that infinity sign on it it's like spirit or the dream world has been trying to show you something but it keeps coming in distorted so keep that in mind um yeah that this was interesting okay uh for those of you who this resonates with make sure you keep a dream drone for real at minimum or keep a notebook by your bed pencil pen whatever so you can write down your dreams from the previous night before you forget them so you can actually get deeper meaning from it or consult a dream um they have some dream books that you need to look up you can go on amazon or google dream books or dream journals so you can move forward on your path okay so that's all i have for the earth sign collective for your general reading for september of 2023 i hope you guys enjoy the reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys